In this video, we'll be testing out Xbox 360 games like Halo 4, Forza Horizon, GTA 5, and lot more inside the AX360 Xbox 360 emulator for Android. With the biggest Xbox 360 titles such as Call of Duty Black Ops 2, GTA 5, Forza Horizon, Halo 4, Red Dead Redemption, and lot more. This is going to be the gameplay test video of the AX360 version 0.4 update released this month on October 7th. To start off, I have seen lot of YouTubers test this emulator, but not with the games that I have added on my Android device. The device which I'll be using is my Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra with a Snapdragon 8 Elite processor. If these games do work, then this device can definitely handle it. With that being said, let's start with the first game which is going to be Halo 4, an exclusive Xbox 360 title which people want to play on their Android devices. And here we go, we have the boot up animation, Microsoft Studios present. Let's wait for a few seconds, all I'm seeing is a black screen right now. And I guess that's about it, that's all the simulator can do right now at the moment, at least it managed to boot Halo 4 and very huge Xbox 360 title. Well this emulator is pretty stable because you saw I tapped on the quit button and still the emulator did not crash. Regardless let's try out our next game which is going to be Red Dead Redemption. Oh my god. Let's go with another AAA title Red Dead Redemption. Now let me talk about the status of the AX360 emulator. Currently this Xbox 360 emulator is capable of emulating few games. Oh my god that was freaking loud like seriously bro what happened. I don't know if the mic captured it but suddenly some random weird noises started coming out of my phone i think the game is trying to boot yeah i'm pretty sure you guys can see the rockstar intro screen what the heck is going on right now and this is the current status of ax360 emulator many high titles actually do manage to boot inside this emulator but unfortunately they do have graphical issues so the graphics part of this emulator is still being worked on and once that is done we'll have proper graphical output in all the games now red dead redemption as you guys can see is just giving us trash graphics like there is not even anything that can be considered as playable so let's move on towards our next game which is going to be call of duty black ops 2 now graphics issues are present in this simulator and it doesn't mean that the games do not work we saw in the ax360 setup video that few games do actually work with proper graphical output such as naruto rise of ninja but here we go we are still seeing a black screen in this game call of duty black ops 2 might actually be very heavy for this emulator to emulate at this point in development while testing these games out i can notice that my android device is getting hot especially in this area where the processor is so definitely the emulator is working the games are trying to run but there is just no proper graphical output and not all the games will work obviously. But now we are actually moving towards some amazing titles such as GTA 5, GTA San Andreas as well as Forza Horizon. I know all of you guys are excited about GTA 5 so let's test it out first and this is the first game which directly backed out of the emulator. Oh my god what am I seeing GTA 5 actually tried to boot. I saw the Rockstar Games intro like what <laughs> unbelievable guys unbelievable you guys can actually see. GTA 5 is trying to boot inside this emulator. I did not think that this would boot but unfortunately the emulator is just crashing it just goes back to the home screen. Now there are lots of settings which you can change for example GPU settings and so on. But unfortunately we don't really know what all of these settings do so we'll keep it as default. So that actually took me aback because GTA 5 was trying to boot inside this emulator. So let's try out our next game which is going to be Forza Horizon. And this is another one of those games which actually boots as you guys can see in the background. We have the intro screen of the original Forza Horizon which means this game is actually playable but it just has lot of graphical issues. And this is literally showing us the potential of Xbox 360 emulation on Android. You can literally play exclusive titles like Forza Horizon on your mobile devices pretty soon in the foreseeable future. I guess the rest of the video will be filmed in darkness because the lights just went out and right now I am seeing black screen with text written loading please wait so let's wait for few seconds. Anyways guys it seems that our game is not booting so let's just tap on the quit button. Now there are two games which I haven't tested out which is Naruto Rise of Ninja and Grand Theft Auto San Andreas in this video. I tested out Naruto Rise of a Ninja in my last video so let's try out Grand Theft Auto San Andreas instead today to find out how well does it work. And immediately you guys can see even in this game in the beginning scenarios we are getting some graphical issues but as far as I know GTA San Andreas should work. So here we go our game has successfully started the game is running pretty smooth and this is what I talked about graphical issues. They do appear but they also go away on their own. Alright the lights are back and GTA San Andreas has also completed loading. And here we go guys as you can see GTA San Andreas has successfully started on my 
android device and we are emulating it inside the ax360 emulator but what i am seeing right now is literally horrendous there are so many frame drops just take a look at this the gameplay experience is not smooth at all but the graphics are very crisp as we are emulating the xbox 360 version of gta san andreas on our android device so that sums up our today's test we tried out lot of heavy titles such as halo 4 red dead redemption and few of the other titles that you recommended me in my last video most of them actually do not work but i believe in the main developer of ax360 i am pretty sure that in future we'll get huge updates once the simulator is officially launched on play store where finally big titles like gta 5 will be playable anyways that's going to be it for today's video thanks for watching goodbye